Welcome back to My Market Kitchen. We've got one of our wine experts, Adam, here from Wine Selectors. What have you got for me? I've got some Barossa Valley wines today. Awesome. I've got some Barossa Valley kind of flavors. So it's a German kind of influenced area. So we've got some smoked meats, we've got some onion, some garlic, and some smoked paprika. So basically, we're doing a little bit of onion here. Now, do you need a little bit of Shiraz? Is that right? I eyed yeah, off your I recipe I beforehand. Need it. Yep. Perfect. Excellent. What have you got for me? Well, what I've got for you, and they're difficult to open for some reason. <laughs> there you go. Worth the, <laughs> worth the squeeze at the end. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. Tip I was going to open it up for you. Yeah. It's like the jam jars where everyone just, you know, gets in and goes, and the last person just clicks it open. Clicks it open, yeah. Um, so, look, I've got a Shiraz because I think. Shiraz and the Barossa are perhaps our, well, arguably our most famous wine, mm -hmm. um, recognised around the world. And Barossa Shiraz is, I guess, the wine that Australia's built its international reputation on. Yeah, definitely. Um, labels like Penfolds and Wolf Blast and things like that mm. all hail from the Barossa. Gorgeous. And it is very recognisable. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I've got one from Alex Head here for yeah, you big. to try. Um, and what I've also got is a little glass of Grenache, or Grenache as well. Um, and Grenache is a variety that, alongside McLaren Vale, the Barossa does better than anywhere else in the country. So Gorgeous. this is kind of yin and yang, because your Barossa Shiraz is big and rich yeah. and full-bodied, where Barossa Grenache is a little bit to the other kind of end of the spectrum. Light and medium bodied, really silky, really elegant as well. So, Perfect. But both will work amazingly well with what you're preparing in front of us. Thank you. So basically what I've just done is put the garlic in. Mm -hmm. The onions will soften by now. Okay. Um, next goes in the salami. Yep. It was funny, obviously I'm the ilk of growing up in the 80s and I remember like having salami and charcuterie like we've grown up doing today. Yeah. That wasn't a thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, I think yeah. I kind of missed out in my, my younger <laughs> years, not being able to eat as much. I'm trying to make up for it. Well, I'm from an Asian background, so obviously we didn't really have salami and charcuterie. You're so a I'm fan, though. Yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. The smoky <laughs> flavours that come out of it. So paprika goes in. Then the beautiful tomatoes. Yum. So that pre-chopped. I think it's worth noting, we talked about the Barossa and we talk about, I guess, charcuterie as a... Uh, as an overarching term and things like sausages would go mm. really well with Shiraz and Grenache as well and I think it's that match of fruit power because you're talking about garlic and paprika and all the yep. ingredients that goes into cured meats they're punchy big bold flavours yeah. and that's what Barossa Shiraz is all about but again on the flip side that silkiness of Grenache and the spice of Grenache in particular oh, I can't wait to enjoy this glass with what you got there so if you can just pour a little bit of that in for me that would yep. be amazing say when uh, now it looks good. Here we go. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, that smells yum. That does smell great. All right, so we're just going to let this cook down for about three more minutes until yep. we pop the beans in. Perfect. I just added the beans in. They're cooking for about two minutes now. I'm going to have a little taste, but. What I was saying before is you could probably put pasta into this and it could be another dish. Yeah, or absolutely. even some rice. Okay, could you, if you serve it as a brunch or a breakfast dish, maybe a, a fried egg or a poached egg? You actually could probably break a couple of eggs right into the pan, let it oh, cook okay. in there, and just serve that dish right out of the pan. Would well, you know what, if you're going down that ilk as well, a little bit of Barossa Grenache, because we said it's lighter body, mm. especially if you're having it as a brunch dish in spring or the warmer weather, when the sun's out like it is today, yeah. or it was out today, <laughs> um, don't be afraid to put a little bit of chill on that. Awesome. So it's 38 degrees outside and you want to have, you know, a warm dish. Yep. A little bit of chilled Barossa Grenache. Beautiful. Absolutely perfect. All right, so that's all done now. That was tasting incredible. I'm just going to get it into a little serving dish. And smells amazing. Off we go. Just simple. Yep, just a Easy. little bit of mint over the top and we're done. Khan, that looks amazing. Thank you so much. Looks fantastic. So, little bit of crusty bread. Oh, on the side, perfect. and there we go. Nice little lunch. Thank you very much. So that's my spicy salami and beans on toast. Thanks for having me on today. Cheers. Ta.